Welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. We've got a treat for you today. We're going to join an otter keeper for our otter talk. Hey, welcome back to the Museum of Discovery and Science. We are outside our otter enclosure. We are joined by Camila, who is our otter specialist extraordinaire. Everything that I have learned about otters, I've actually learned from Camila, so thank you for teaching me all that cool stuff. But I want to give you a chance to shine here in the spotlight. So can you tell me what kind of otters these are? Are these sea otters or what kind are they? So most people think that our boys are sea otters, but they're actually North American river otters. So they only live in rivers, only in Florida? No, you can actually find river otters anywhere between Florida all the way up to Maine and even Canada. So they, they, so they can live in places that are cold and hot? Yes. That is awesome. True. And so um, you said boys, so I assume they're all boys. Yes. What are their names? So we have four male North American river otters. From oldest to youngest, we have Jafar. He is the alpha of the group. Then we have Linus. Then we have Joey. And last but certainly not least is Terry. So I noticed that another one of the otter specialist extraordinaires are back here. And it looks like she's just feeding them or is she doing this for a reason? So up there we have Kara, one of our other otter specialists. So what she's doing right now is a training behavior. So what we're asking of them is a behavior called go swim. So it sounds kind of funny, but for the otters, it means that they have to swim all the way up as close to the glass as possible. So how do you train an animal? That is a great question. There is no right or wrong way to train something to someone or to an animal. It's all done, though, through positive reinforcement. Okay. That means you'll always want to reinforce a behavior that they do well, but you'll never want to reinforce something that they do wrong, but you'll never want to yell at them or scream at them or anything like that. So it's always a positive experience. And I, I see that, I, I don't see what they're eating, but I see food going in. <laughs> what, do, what do river otters eat? Well, anything an otter can catch, they're going to eat it. <laughs> But here at our facility, we do give them a well-balanced diet. We like to give them fish as their main base. So we like to give them herring, which is a super meaty fish. And then we like to give them capelin, which is an oily, fatty fish. But apart from that, we like to give them treats, like ice treats. So it's basically ice with some pieces of fish in it. We like to give them shrimp and even carrots. Yes, they love carrots. Carrots, mm -hmm. huh? Oh, I see they're eating carrots right now. Okay. And then I'm, as I'm watching them swim around, I'm noticing bubbles on their skin. Why do they have the bubbles on their skin? Great question. So those bubbles are not coming from their noses at all. It's actually coming from their fur. So their fur is really well adapted for cold temperatures or for, let's say, cold areas like Canada. But that air is actually a good way to trap heat since air is really, really good at trapping. Now, I'm sure some of our viewers are aspiring biologists or zoologists or <laughs> zookeepers, <hope> so. <laughs> right? And so um, coming from you, what is some good advice you might give to them about um, the job? Like, is it always great days and it's always just feeding and snuggling? Or, or what, what kind of advice would you give? My advice to any aspiring biologist or zoologist out there um, is to just keep working hard at it. It's never an easy day. Um, it kind of looks like we're only having fun with them or anything, but it's not just that. We do watch them every day. We make sure that their health is really well. We want to make sure their weights are good. We always check their teeth and their gums too. We have to make sure that they're entertained, they're having fun, um, and we hope to have always a positive experience. So honestly, you just keep working hard at it. Okay, hard question. Ooh. Which one is your favorite? Do you have Ooh. a favorite? <laughs> I'm not supposed to have a favorite because I do truly love all of them. They're all my boys. However, a special place in my heart will be Jafar. He's, okay. He's my main man. And so four different otters, do they all have their own behaviors? Do they not? Do they all act the same exact way? So all of them are the same species of otter. So they all, at a glance, look very, very similar. Um, however, they all have very different personalities. So Jafar is very laid back because he's very old, but he's also very neutral. So he kind of just is a natural born leader, but likes to kind of go with the flow with everyone. Linus likes to keep to himself. He really likes to run laps in the pool and just have a good time swimming. Joey is the most emotional. Oh, all of them, is that's a good way to put it? If emotional. He, yes, if he wakes up on the wrong side of the bed, he doesn't want anything to do with you the rest of the day. And that's okay, right? He can do that. And then Terry is super hyperactive, super fun. He's the baby of the group. So he 
is always ready and willing to participate on everything, and he's off the walls crazy. <laughs> on any given day, what's your favorite activity to do with the otters? Definitely has to be otter painting. That's always really, really fun. We'll put paint all over the floor, and we'll put little canvases on the floor, and they'll run all over the paint, and they make really fun colors, and it gets all over the floor. And <laughs> do they know how to paint, per se, or is it just more of running over the canvas and, and creating cool patterns? It's more so they'll just run over all of it. It's really more so for the enrichment aspect. So it's enrichment can be anything that is new, something that stimulates their natural foraging behaviors, anything that's fun, but it's not natural to them. So painting is just a way for them to touch something that's really cool, maybe smell something a little different and make something fun. And yeah. Last question. Yes. So I'm noticing they're outside right now. Do they mm -hmm. spend... 24 hours, 365 days outside, or is there something else I'm not seeing here? So anywhere between 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., which is around our museum hours, they will spend outside here swimming or sleeping in the hay over there. Um, apart from that, they do come inside as per Florida law. They need to be kept under lock and key. So we do have a space in the back. Um, after that next rock protrusion, there is a little chute door. There's a pulley system where they come inside. They each have their own run, their own bed, a nice blankie to cuddle up in, and then they have their water dishes too. I'm, I'm jealous of these otters that seem to live a better <laughs> life than I do. Well, thank you for joining us, and we thank you for joining us. We hope you learned a lot today, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye. We want to thank the Styles Corporation for sponsoring today's video, and you otter subscribe below.